Surprise, I'm back at McDonald's in Vietnam. Why? Because McDonald's is synonymous with American burgers. McDonald's deserves credit. They pioneered the use of assembly line production, standardized menus, and quality control. It's pretty delicious. This has got to be the flattest burger ever. It's like eyelash thin. I'm not going to tell you where we're going for a bang mi yet. Outside of Bang Mi Huim Hoa, which is the busiest Bang Mi spot in Saigon. It is super famous. Two separate locations. Over here is where the drivers come to pick stuff up. Wow, Chet Oi from Bang Mi. <laughs> Some days this lineup will stretch like all the way back down the street into the corner. The story of Bang Mi started in the 1950s when a couple from Hanoi moved to Saigon and opened a shop selling stuffed bread rolls. They named their sandwich after their hometown, Hoa Ma. Soon it became the most popular Vietnamese street food. Bang Mi is a result of French influence in Vietnam, combining crusty baguette with soft pate, luscious mayo. The combination of accompaniment should pop with layers of flavors ranging from salty, sweet, sour to spicy. You see the prices up there, they're actually pretty expensive for Bang Mi's, but they're selling them en masse. Xin chào, tôi muốn một Bang Mi đặc biệt. So one Bang Mi was 65k, so about $3 US. All right, y'all, that is more like it. We're at Bang Mi Huyen Hoa. We finally got a serious sandwich. We're gonna try out the real thing here. This isn't a Big Mac, it's not a burger. We're in Vietnam. Beautiful in there, you can see it is stuffed with pork liver pate, shoulder ham, a little bit of bologna. We're getting traffic passing by us here. We are sitting at a sidewalk cafe. It is seriously stuffed. You can see there's a thick layer of the bologna, the ham as well. Interestingly, they actually serve the pickles and the toppings separately in the sandwich, probably because it's so overstuffed. It's heavy on the meat. It looks delicious. I don't know yet, but I, I think it's gonna take out the Big Mac. It looks like Vietnam's gonna win this round again, but we're gonna have to wait and see if there's any more surprises. Let's load this thing up. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Oh my God. That is a serious mouthful. A big hit of pepper from the cold pressed meat. Wow. I wonder if it's from Phu Quoc. There's full whole peppercorns in here. And as I'm biting into it, I'm getting the crunch and the spice. It's delicious. Wow. This is a serious mouthful. Just by weight, a half of this sandwich is at least a quarter pounder of meat, maybe even a half pounder. Oh, that is so good. Worth all $3, worth the 65K. It is stuffed with pate and is so fatty and so rich. Pure chicken liver. Mm, wow, there's a mongrel dog here and this is a mongrel of a sandwich. It is out of control. In five years in Vietnam, I've never actually bothered waiting in line. This sandwich is worth it. It's absolutely delicious. My wife didn't want to come wait with me, so I'm filming by myself today. The question becomes, is this other half of the sandwich wife worthy or should I just go all out and eat it by myself? Mm, oh my goodness, look at these. Where are you, sunny side? Oh, look at that cucumber. Mm. So crunchy and delicious. Wow, Mark Weens, eat your heart out. I should have asked for extra cucumber. I made a real mistake there. The crunchiness really adds to the experience. Oh, I mean, I'm kind of play acting here, but legitimately it, it gets a lot better with the cucumber. It really adds a crunch and a brightness to it. Need to eat our vegetables today. Try and counteract the sloppy American hamburger of all sauce and cheese. Like tipping the scales here. Right now, burger is here. Bang Mi is here. Bang Mi has definitely taken the early lead in this competition, but you're gonna have to stick around to find out who wins because we've got a few more surprises left. Stay tuned. I'm Evan, this is Noodlehead. Wow. Hey, what's up? We are in District 7 at the brand new location of Eddie's Diner, and I promise we're finally gonna get our teeth into a serious American burger. This is as close to real as it gets here in Ho Chi Minh City. Come on to the kitchen. The hamburger has its roots in the 19th century. When German immigrants brought their meat patties to America, they called them Hamburg steaks, cooked on a griddle and served with bread and onions. But the burger as we know it today was born in the early 20th century, when someone had the brilliant idea of putting meat patty between two slices of bread, creating a portable and convenient sandwich. The burger as we know it today was invented in America. Guys, this is Evan from Noodlehead. We're here at Eddie's in District 7. Eddie's Diner is a classic American style vintage diner experience in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. As you know, today we're having our Bang Mi versus Burger Challenge. I can't wait to dig into this behemoth. It is certainly going to do us a lot better than McDonald's did. None of that. This is going to be a serious one. I feel like I'm going to have to 
gonna have to tuck in. I'm gonna have to take care of my shirt here. I'm gonna catch up a mustard, guys. A delicious, enormous, homemade cucumber dill pickle for sunny side. Hangy, are we ready? The classic double steak burger, two patties, American burger sauce, American cheese slices, a little bit of lettuce and tomato. Let's get it. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that is delicious. This is, I gotta say, I'm feeling a little nostalgic here. I don't know if the bong mi's are gonna hold up. We went to Huyen Hua earlier, tried the infamous, the most famous bong mi in the city of Saigon. It was damn good. It was meaty, but I don't know if it can hold. This burger seems pretty legit. We have a serious contender here. That's an American sized cola as well. Holy cow. Let's get in here. Bite number two. Oh man, check that out. Mmm, that's fantastic. Wow. Those patties are legit. You can feel their knife cut. Nice chew, toothsome, good mouthfeel. This is delicious. This is a real deal. Wife behind the camera is up to her usual antics and not talking. Hi, wife behind the camera. Do you want to bite this burger? <laughs> yeah. You want a french fry? Ooh, quadruple fry? Can't have it. Before we award the crown to Eddie's, though, I got one more twist to you. There's one more surprise. Isn't there a bigger, better bong mi out there somewhere? Is Huyen Hua really the best that Saigon has to offer? I've heard whisperings of bigger, monstrous bong mi's in the Northern Vietnamese mountains. And I think I'm gonna have to go hunt them down. Once upon a time, there was a giant bong mi that was made from the mythical mountain pig agates the size of a man and enormous titanic cucumbers. The bong mi was so big that it could feed a whole village for a year, but no one dared to eat from it. They were afraid of the magical powers. The bong mi was left alone in a field until one day when a hungry traveler with a head made of noodles came by and saw the enormous mythical bong mi. He was amazed by the sight. He must bite into its meat. As soon as the noodle-headed traveler bit into the legendary bong mi, he felt the surge of energy and virility. He realized that he could make any wish come true. So he wished for more bong mi. And soon the field was filled with bong mi. And he ate and ate until he was happy and full. And then he wished for a palace made of baguette, a kingdom of ham and a beautiful princess to marry. His wishes were granted and he lived happily ever in a magical place made of bong mi's named Saigon.